In this lesson, we will add fields and entries to already created blog role database activity. On the course main page, click on the block role database activity. Expand the Create New Field drop down menu to start adding fields to the database. Select text from the options to add text type field to the database. Enter the field name as author. In the field description, enter write the author name. Then click Add to add this field. Again expand Create New Field drop down menu to add another field. And select text area from available options to add text box. Enter the field name as block name. Enter the field description as write the name for the block. Then click add to add this field. Again expand create new field drop down menu to add another field. Select URL to add URL type field. Enter the field name as URL in the field description. Enter copy and paste the URL. Check auto link the URL checkbox. Then, add this field by clicking the Add button. Now we would add one more field to our database. Again expand the Create a new field drop-down menu. And select radio buttons from the drop-down menu. And enter the field name as Language. In the field description, enter Choose your block language. In the Options text box, enter the options for radio button, one option per line. Enter English. French, German and others as options. And click Add to add this field. Then click on Templates tab to see the present template for the fields we have added. Here, we have certain options using which we can change the layout while viewing or editing the database entries. Select the field names and click B in the text editor to make the field name fonts bold. Then click Save Template. Now, let's add an entry to the database. Click Add Entry tab. And enter the author name as Richard Lai. And enter the block name as Under the Microscope. Scroll down. In the URL text box, enter the URL for the block. And choose English as the language. Then click Save and View. The entry has been added as can be seen in View Single tab. Now we would add one more entry to the database as a student. Switch to Google Chrome now to add entry as student1. Notice that now we're logged in as student1. Click on the block role database activity. Then navigate to add entry tab. And enter the author name as Matt Smith. In the block name enter Samsung Galaxy S3. In the URL text box enter the URL of the blog. Then choose block language as English. Then click Save and View. Now you can see your entry added as Student 1. Now you can also view other entries. Click on View List tab to view the list of all entries in the database activity. Now the complete list of entries has appeared. Now open your Moodle site in your computer and implement the exercise before proceeding to the next video.